19 Juli 1989, United Airlines, penerbangan 232, dijadwalkan terbang dari Bandara Internasional Stapleton di Denver dan mendarat di Bandara Internasional O'Hare di Chicago. Namun kemudian pesawat terpaksa mendarat darurat di Bandara Shio Gateway di kota Shio, Iowa karena terjadi kerusakan mesin belakang yang menyebabkan hilangnya semua kontrol hidrolik pesawat. Pesawat jenis McDonnell Douglas di Seaton itu lepas landas dari Denver pada pukul 2 siang. Pada satu jam pertama, penerbangan berjalan lancar. Namun kemudian, terjadi kerusakan pada bilah kapas di mesin belakang yang menyebabkan mesin mati. Bilah kipas yang retak dan hancur kemudian menghasilkan puing-puing yang berterbangan, mengakibatkan putusnya ketiga saluran hidrolik dan menembus stabilizer horizontal. Sesaat kemudian, terdengar sebuah ledakan keras dan pesawat mulai bergetar hebat dan berguling ke kanan. Para penumpang pun mulai panik. Kapten pilot Alfred Haynes dan co-pilot William Records kemudian menutup throttle ke mesin kiri, mendorong semua tenaga ke kanan. Minneapolis Air Traffic Control kemudian diberitahu oleh awak pesawat tentang keadaan darurat tersebut. Pesawat kemudian diarahkan untuk mencoba mendarat di bandara di kota Shio. Dennis Fitch, seorang instruktur pelatihan United Airlines di C-10 yang kebetulan berada di kursi penumpang kelas 1, menawarkan diri untuk membantu mengatasi keadaan tersebut. Kapten pilot, Haynes, kemudian menginstruksikan Fitch untuk mengoperasikan pendorong yang menggerakkan dua mesin yang tersisa, yang memberikan kontrol yang sangat minimal atas arah dan orientasi pesawat. Sementara dia dan co-pilot Records berusaha agar kontrol penerbangan normal berfungsi. Fleet menyadari bahwa pesawat cenderung berbelok ke kanan. Penerbangan 232 terus berlanjut, nyaris tak terkendali menuju kota Shio. Beberapa saat sebelum mendarat, sekitar pukul 4, Fleet berhasil menggunakan pendorong untuk menarik pesawat cukup ke kiri mendekati bandara. Pesawat pun turun terlalu curam dan cepat dalam keadaan miring saat mendarat. Sayap kanan pesawat kemudian menghantam tanah lebih dulu dan putus. Bagian ekor dan kokpit juga putus saat pesawat melambung beberapa kali. Bagian utama badan pesawat tergelincir ke samping dan berguling sebelum akhirnya berhenti di ladang jagung. Bahan bakar pesawat kemudian meledak, menghasilkan bola api yang membumbung tinggi saat pesawat menghantam tanah. Para petugas penyelamat yang sudah siap di lokasi menyaksikan kejadian tersebut dan mengira bahwa para penumpang yang berjumlah 296 orang di dalam pesawat tersebut tak ada yang selamat. Ajaibnya, 184 orang selamat, 138 di antaranya bahkan mampu berjalan dari kapal terbang yang tak lagi berbentuk itu. 110 penumpang dan satu pramugari tewas saat kejadian. Dan sebulan kemudian, salah satu orang penumpang yang selamat kemudian meninggal karena luka parah. Sebagian besar dari 184 korban selamat duduk di belakang kelas 1 dan di depan saya. Semua yang berada di kokpit selamat, meskipun mengalami luka serius. Setelah kecelakaan itu, aturan baru diberlakukan terkait pembuatan dan inspeksi turbin. Peristiwa itu kemudian diangkat menjadi sebuah film berjudul Crash Landing The Rescue of Light 232 yang juga dikenal sebagai A Thousand Heroes pada tahun 1992. Berikut rekaman kokpit beberapa menit sebelum pesawat menghantam tanah. Back on that sucker. Come on, baby. What's up? 
Red Rock Flash. No, zero. All over? All over. Quality's gone, huh? Yeah, all quality's gone. Oh, bitch. Unlock that fucking door. Unlock it. Pull back, pull back. We've lost the fuel. We have no hydraulic fluid. That's part of our main problem. Both your inboard heel rods are sticking up. That's more than I can tell. I don't know that's Well, that's because we're turning maximum return. Yeah. So as I'm steering the Okay, go ahead, help. Just don't worry about it. Tell me, yell what you want. I'll help you. Right, uh, code one, put two up. Sioux City got a birthday for you. All right. Uh, I got a United Aircraft coming in, lost number two engine, having a hard time controlling the aircraft right now. He's at a 29,000 right now, and descending to Sioux City right now. He's, he's to your VOR, but he wants the equipment standing by right now. Uh, radar contact. Okay, so you know, we have almost no controllability. Uh, very little elevator and almost no elon. Uh, we're controlling the turns by power. I don't think we can turn right, but I think we can only make left turns. Well, we're starting a little bit of a left turn right now. I mean, we can only turn right, we can't turn left. United 232 Heavy, I uh, understand, sir. Uh, you can only make right turns? That's the permit. 32 Heavy, say souls on board and uh, fuel remain. We have 37.6. Fuel and we're counting the solar. United 232 Heavy, Sioux City. We have no hydraulic fluid, which means we have no elevator control, uh, almost none, and very little aileron control. I have serious doubts about making the airport. Have you got uh, some place near there uh, that we might be able to ditch? Unless you get control of this airplane, we're going to put it down wherever it happens to be. United 232 Heavy, Roger. Uh, stand by one. We need some elevator control, and I don't know how to get it. We're going to go to Sioux City, and we're going to try and put it into Sioux City, Iowa. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. We're going to evacuate. Sure. We are. Well, we're going to have the gear down. Yeah. And if we can keep the airplane on the ground and stop standing up, give it a second or two before we evacuate. We're going to 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 Evacuate, but I really have my doubts for being standing up, buddy. Good luck, sweetheart. Okay. Lock up and put everything away. Uh, we're going to have to continue one more right turn. We've got the elevator pretty much under control within three or four hundred feet, but we still can't do much of the steering. United 232 Heavy, Roger. Understand you do have the elevators uh, possibly under control. We've got the whole altitude. Negative. We don't have it. We uh, are better. That's all. Roger. United 232 Heavy, there is a small airport at 12 o'clock and uh, 7 miles, the runway is 4,000 feet long there. Hey, uh, I'm controlling it myself right now, as soon as the captain gets back on, he'll give me a hand here. He's talking on the PA. Roger. Okay, United 232, we're starting a left turn back to the airport. Uh, we have, since we have no hydraulics, braking is going to really be a problem. Uh, I would suggest the equipment be towards the far end of the runway. And uh, I think under the circumstances, regardless of the condition of the airplane when we stop, we're going to evacuate. So you might notify the uh, ground crew equipment that we're going to do that. United 232 Heavy, uh, Wilco, sir. And if you can continue that left turn to about a uh, 220 heading, sir, that'll take you right to the airport. United 232 Heavy, you're going to have to widen out just slightly to your left, sir, uh, to make the turn to final. And also, that'll take you away from the city. Whatever you do, keep us away from the city. Uh, 232, have you been advised there is a four-lane highway uh, up in that area, sir, if you can pick that up? Okay, we'll see what we can do here. We've already put the gear down, and uh, we're going to have to be able to put on something solid if we can. United 232, heavy, roger. Uh, the airport's currently at your 1 o'clock position, 1-0 miles. And United 232, heavy, uh, if you can't make the airport, sir, there is an interstate that runs uh, north to south to the east side of the airport. Uh, it's a four-lane interstate. We're just passing it right now. We're going to crash the airport. United 232 Heavy, roger. And advise when you get the airport in sight. Got a runway in sight. We'll be with you very shortly. Thanks a lot for your help. United 232 Heavy, the wind's currently 360 at 11. 360 at 11, you're cleared to land on any runway. <laughs> you want to be particular and make it a runway, huh? 010 at 11, and there is a runway uh, that's closed, sir, that could... Uh, probably work too. The south, it runs uh, northeast to southwest. Pretty well lined up on this one, or I think we will be. Uh, all right. Get.
United 232 Heavy, uh, Roger, sir. Yeah, that's a closed runway. That'll work, sir. We're getting the equipment off the runway, and they'll line up for that one. How long is it? At the end of the runway, it's just a wide open field, so, sir, so the length won't be a problem. Thank you.